Okay, hello everybody. This is Dr. Mohamed Faiz al -Bataina. I'm an Associate Professor of Electrical Engineering. Uh, today I'm going to be solving this problem, this geometry problem. Uh, okay, so what we have here, uh, we, we have a circle, okay, two chords, A, B, and C, D, two perpendicular chords. Uh, and we have these uh, given links here, uh, 6, 3, and 2. So the question is, uh, what is the radius of this circle, okay? Uh, there are many ways okay to solve this problems okay but i'm going to be presenting today the easiest way i guess i believe the easiest way to solve this problem so uh, what i'm going to do right now i'm going to give you some time to think about this problem and then we're, we're going to get it to be back uh, in a little while okay so take your time and think about this Okay, so now let's uh, think about this problem. We have a circle, two chords that are perpendicular to each other, okay? Uh, to solve this problem and to find the radius of the circle, okay, what we're going to do is uh, the following. Oh, we're going to connect these, uh, these points here. Okay, D and B, and then also A and D. And then we are going to uh, like uh, assume that the 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 the, uh, the circuit center is here, and they were going to connect these points as well, and these points here as well, and also the point C and B. Okay. So now uh, uh, let's. Uh, let's call uh, the uh, circle center, for example, D, uh, A, B, C, D, E. Let's let's call it E, for example. So now the length E and B is equal to, and let's use another uh, uh, another color. Uh, let's use the red. So this is R, and also this length here is also R. Uh, it's the radius of the circle. Okay, and uh, we can calculate. Uh, let's start by calculating the uh, the angle theta here. Uh, this angle here, uh, theta, which is the angle DAB, and the angle DCB also uh, is uh, sharing. Okay, uh, this angle with the same arc, so they're equal. So this angle is also. Uh, theta as well okay this angle here is the central angle it's twice the inscribed angle so it's two theta okay okay so uh, now uh, we can find also the length uh, this triangle here and let me uh, let me uh, highlight it okay this triangle <coughs> this triangle here is uh, is a right triangle This triangle is a right triangle, so uh, the <coughs> the hypotenuse uh, is equal to uh, the square root of six squared plus three squared. That's uh, square root of square root of forty five. Okay. Uh, now let's calculate theta. Uh, we can calculate theta. Let me uh, get back to the black uh, color. Okay. So I'll calculate theta. Theta. If I take ten theta. 10 theta is equal to uh, to the um, uh, opposite uh, over the adjacent so it's 3 by 2 3 by 2 that gives us uh, theta theta is equal to 10 inverse 10 inverse of 3 by 2 if we calculate that it's going to uh, give us uh, let me calculate that Uh, it's going to give us 56.31 degrees. Okay, so that's theta. Okay, now uh, uh, using this triangle that is marked, okay, now let me mark another triangle. Uh, let me use another color, uh, the green for example. I'm going to uh, mark this triangle here. 
the one in green. Okay. So we can calculate the length D using uh, the uh, length EB, which is R, and ED, which is also R. Okay. So uh, 45 square root of 45 is equal to the square root of uh, r squared plus r squared minus 2r multiplied by r, so it's r squared uh, multiplied by cosine 2 theta. Okay, and that gives us uh, square root of 2r squared minus 2r squared cosine 2 theta. And this is equal to square root of, uh, let me take 2r squared as a common factor. That's a 1 minus cosine 2 theta. And uh, from ge geometry identities, okay, we can, we know that 1 minus cosine 2 theta is equal to twice sine squared theta. So this is equal to 2r squared times 2r uh, uh, times, I'm sorry, times 2 uh, sine squared theta. And this is equal to uh, 4r squared sine squared theta. And this is equal, th that uh, leaves us with 45 is equal to twice r sine theta. And from this, we can calculate the radius uh, directly. Uh, R is equal to uh, uh, I'm sorry, the square root of R. Okay, uh, R is equal to R is equal to uh, the square root of 45 uh, divided by 2 sine theta. And that's equal to, uh, let me calculate that. Sine theta. Sine theta. We multiply it by 2, and then we take the reciprocal, and then we multiply it by 45 square root, and that's equal to 4.031. And that's the radius of the circle. That's the solution. Thank you for watching. And please, uh, if you like this content, please share it, hit like, share it, and then subscribe to my channel. Thank you.